Hey, Miles here, milesbeckler.com. This video is about travel hacking. Specifically, I'm gonna show you how I've been booking international flights across the Pacific, right? I go to a couple of conferences and I run a mastermind in Asia every year and I'm speaking at a conference and I'm gonna show you how I've been booking business class flights for these for literally 50%, sometimes even lower than that versus the cash price. And oftentimes I'm finding that it's only a couple of hundred dollars more using this method to get business class than it is for economy on very, very similar flights. So first thing, this is not a credit card points move. Yes, that, that does work, but I don't collect credit card points personally. I prefer to get to use a cash back card, but we are going to leverage credit. We are going to leverage frequent flyer points, just not through the credit card, right? Okay, so with that said, let's also quickly note, this is using a US-based airline to do this. You can replicate this with your local airlines. You need to go learn kind of how their website works and how the, the potential for buying points works with them. But essentially, follow along, look at the math and the way I analyze the flights, and you just need to figure out how to apply this same thought process to your local local airline, whether it's Qantas in, in Australia, Air New Zealand, uh, Emirates, if you're in, you know, wherever you're at, this will apply to your local airlines, all the European airlines, they all work the same. And here's the, the theory behind this, right? They've all decided to partner together. And there's three or four main groups of airlines working together. And I'm able to go through one US airline, do my searching on that portal, book through that portal, and I could end up on a wide variety of different airlines. So this is kind of the leverage point, and that's why I'm in the U.S., so I'm with a U.S.-based carrier because that's how my internet and that's how it works for me. So apply this idea to your home country's, um, one of your home country's airlines, and you can replicate this. So let's jump in. The first thing I do is I go over to Skyscanner, and I want to look for the actual flight. So this is LAX to Bali, to Denpasar, Bali, for November 10th, one way, one person. I'm setting my baseline here. I'm just trying to figure out, okay, how much is a cash price if I wanted to book a cash price? And you can see one way cash price is 2,697 bucks. I'm gonna write that down because that's my baseline. That's the number that I don't want to pay, right? I'm not gonna pay 3,000 or $2,500 for a one-way flight. That would be for my wife and I, round trip plus taxes and fees. We're talking like $12,000 to fly. That makes absolutely no sense at all. But this is my starting point, right? The next thing I do is I go replicate this search on one of my local portals where I have a frequent flyer account set up, right? So for this example, there's a special offer going on on United. So for my US friends through September 12th, this is exactly the thing to do. But again, if you're international, just kind of like leverage these ideas against yours. So LAX to Denpasar, Bali, November 10th, one adult. The big key is on these portals, you wanna search for award travel. Sometimes they say search for frequent flyer travel. Sometimes you have your own login and your own place to search when you're trying to redeem points, but you need to search in a way that's going to allow you to redeem your points, even though we don't have the points yet, right? So now I do the same exact search and I want to essentially see how many points this flight is going to cost. And you can definitely search around on the different portals and the different local airlines to find which portal gives you the best deal on points, right? Because it's easy to sometimes see one portal is charging you 120,000 points and another portal is charging you 80,000 points for business class on the same flight. And here, this is the business saver award, right? This column shows the lowest cost business flight. You can see it's 80,000 miles. So I'm gonna jot that down real quick, 80,000 miles, that's one way. And then here is how this is evergreen and this works for anyone in the world is there's websites like Buy Airline Miles and there's other websites like this that allow you to essentially purchase airline miles from other people, right? So some people rack up these massive amounts of frequent flyer points, they're not using them and they'd like to sell them and you can actually purchase them. So what you do is you go in and you look for your different local airline, right? You find out how much those are and then we run just a little bit of math. So United Airlines, two. 1.1 cents per mile. So I'm just going to do the math on that, right? So I'm going to do 80,000 because that's how many frequent flyer miles it takes. I'm going to multiply that by 
0 2 1 which is 2.1 cents and I can see that same flight would cost right sixteen hundred and eighty dollars this way so that is already a savings of about a thousand dollars which based on a percentage I don't know what is that like a 30 plus percent savings um, pretty fantastic savings but that's not the only way to do this we're gonna go back here to United and right now United is running a special so I'm gonna control click on their logo and I'm going to show you once a year United runs a special where you can purchase points from them at a significantly discounted rate and right now you can get points for as low as 1.88 cents each you hover over the mileage plus and then you go down here to buy transfer or give miles I'm going to control click on that to open it in a new tab and here I can't go into it because I've already purchased mine but you can see right here on this first screen buy and get a hundred percent extra miles this caps out at hundred and fifty thousand miles and you're able to purchase hundred and fifty thousand miles from here right now for essentially twenty eight hundred and twenty one dollars so that turns out to be one point eight cents each per mile so let's take this new ticket we're looking at right this 80,000 mile ticket and let's do the math on that one so we're gonna do 80,000 and we're gonna multiply that by 0 0.0188 because that's what we can buy those points at and you can see it's fifteen hundred and four dollars for that flight so essentially you've got yourself the ability to save almost 50% right there from this exact kind of itinerary we're looking at and let me show you one more little kind of cool trick of how this works so we can come up here and we can actually edit this so I'm gonna put it into Denver right so I looked from LA which is a coastal town and obviously that's gonna be one of the quickest ways to get from the US to Asia but what if you're in the middle of the continent and the United States and you're like it near Denver and you want to fly business class you would then search and what's interesting is oftentimes the cost for this flight even though you're adding on another one from Denver to a coastal city to be able to fly out the cost of the points based flight is not actually going to change much now you can see up here the we don't have both economies right so there's saver award economy but there's no saver award premium so we might need to be flexible the premium are these dots I'm gonna take a quick glance down here and you can see this whole business saver award is not available on this date so what I do is I'll just click on the next date over and let this load and it's gonna load the flights and we just keep kind of browsing around until we're able to find a business saver award and again on your home airline it might be named something different right it could be called something different but the goal is to go find what is the best deal I can find on points for my local airline then am I able to purchase point based deals can I can I fly to this location on points here you can see clearly that there are multiple points um, the reason it's mixed cabin is probably because you're not going to actually get uh, you know you'll have business on two but so for this example from Bangkok to Denpasar Bali you're in economy but for the other flights you're actually in business for both of them which means you get the business class lounge etc so here you're able to fly from Denver to Bali for again 80,000 points and let's just for fun come over here and let's change this real quick to Denver and see if the prices here stay because I really highly doubt that they do and and that's the theory right so go look for the cash price what is the cash price go look at how you can get the same flight on points and then how can you purchase the points in a way that'll save you money right and here you you can see that actually there is an option it is a 43 hour flight time which is pretty rough uh, but there are some cash options available from flying from adding legs here but this is more kind of similar to the the flight that we would be replicating and you can see it's it's easily saving you um you know hundreds if not thousands of dollars on these kinds of flights and that's what I do that's how the the frequent flyer kind of travel hacking works on my end is I go in and I'm like okay how much is the cash price and I'm never going to pay the cash price for or rarely am I going to pay a cash price for a business class flight because it's often going to be three four five thousand dollars per person my wife and I both go it just doesn't make fiscal sense for my business to spend that much but when you integrate the points buys United has hundred and fifty thousand miles per year that you can purchase you purchase seventy five thousand right now you get a free seventy five thousand that deal is good through September 12th so if you're in the US and you want to stack up some points I highly recommend going that route if you're not playing the credit card game and then again there are some 
websites and interfaces that allow you to purchase frequent flyer miles from other people. Now, I don't know if that's exactly within the terms of service of the airlines, right? But they have the ability to go gift them and share them to you. And so that if there's, there is a market for it, but it might be a little bit of a gray area. Do your due diligence on that. I've just, I know people who have purchased points in that manner. I've been able to always find my points buys directly from the airlines. Uh, personally, I've done this method on American Airlines and United both, but I always start to find who has the flight I want first, then I purchase the points. It takes a day or two to get those points into my account, and then I purchase my flight based on points, and the net benefit to me is I get to fly over an ocean with a lay-down flat bed for a little bit more than the cost of economy, and generally I'm saving 50%, sometimes 75, 80% off from the cash value price. And that is how I am flying internationally, how I'm travel hacking my way into business class to get the business class lounge access and also to get that lay down bed. Because once you enter an airplane and you turn left for a long haul flight, you kind of get ruined for life, but it's not a bad thing because if you've got a speaking engagement or a conference and a short window and you need to show up a day or two before, showing up rested and refreshed will keep you from being like a zombie at that conference. Uh, I'm speaking in Bali and that's why I really do need to be well rested and on top of my game. So when I'm speaking, I'm bringing it, right? I can't be jet lagged and kind of out of it from sitting in that, that kind of like ew, the upright sitting the economy class for a 20 plus hour, 25 hour travel time. So I hope this has been helpful. Give me a thumbs up here on YouTube if you've enjoyed this video. If you like these kinds of travel hack videos, I'd be happy to put out more because there's many different ways to hack your way into business class travel. This is one that's worked for me very, very consistently. So I wanted to show it with you. And if you use this, uh, leave me a message. I'd love to, to hear about the flight that you found, the deal you found, and how much you saved on booking in this method. Thanks again for your time. And I look forward to connecting with you on the next video.